In this video, we will configure the Algolia instant search page for Magento 2. It's the full page search experience that allows users to browse your catalog and find what they are looking for. It's important to configure this page properly to make it as easy as possible to discover your products. There are three main settings that we will look into. The facets, the sortings, and the category pages. We won't talk about the products because it's covered in the previous video called Product Search Configuration. You can find the link in the video description. We can get to the Instant Search Configuration page in the Magento Admin by clicking on Stores, Configuration, Algolia Search, Instant Search. Make sure that Enable Instant Search page is set to Yes. Let's look at the facets first. The facets are the filters on the left of the instant search page. They are very useful to help users refine their searches or browse products without even typing a search query. By default, it's possible to filter by price, by category, and by color. But we can do much more than that. For example, let's add a facet for the materials of the products. Click on the Add button. In the drop-down menu, select the material attribute. Choose the facet type. There are four possibilities. Conjunctive allows users to filter products that contain every option selected. For example, a t-shirt that is both blue and red. Disjunctive allows users to filter products that contain at least one option selected. For example, a t-shirt that is either size M or size L. Slider allows users to pick a numerical value with a slider and price range allows users to type the minimum and maximum price they want. In this case, disjunctive makes sense to be able to select multiple materials. Type the label that will be displayed just above the filter, for example, materials. Set searchable to yes only if the facet has a high number of different values. This way, users can search for the filter they are looking for instead of having to scroll in a very long list. Here, the facet has more than 30 different values, so we can make it searchable. The last setting is called Query Rule. When set to Yes, Algolia will automatically filter results if the query match a value of the facet. For example, if we enable the Query Rule and a user searches for Cotton Short, then results will only contain products that have their material attributes set to Cotton. If needed, change the display order of the facets with drag and drop. Finally, click on Save Config. Here's how the new facet will look like on our store. Next, the sorting options. On the Instant Search page, there is a small drop-down menu close to the search bar. By default, it let us sort by relevance, by price, and by date. Let's add a new sorting option. Click on the Add button. In the drop-down, select the attribute to use for the sorting. For example, rating. Specify the sort direction, either ascending from smallest to largest, or descending from largest to smallest. In this case, we want the highest rating to appear at the top, so set it to descending. Type the label that will be displayed in the menu, for example, best rating. If needed, change the display order of the sorting options with drag and drop. Finally, click on Save Config. Keep in mind that for every new sorting option, all the products will be stored in a new Algolia index. This is needed by the engine to return super fast search results. In most cases, two or three sorting options are enough. Last but not least, there is a simple but powerful setting called Replace Category Pages. When disabled, we have access to our regular category pages. But when enabled, our categories are transformed into instant search pages. We recommend enabling this setting as it streamlines the experience through the entire store and makes it easier for users to find what they are looking for. To make sure the changes we made in the Magento admin will be taken into account on our store, there are two things to do. First, clear the Magento cache by going to System, Cache Management, there selecting Configuration and Page, and clicking on the Submit button. Second, re-index all the products by opening a terminal and typing this line of code that can be found in the video description or in the documentation. 
In this video, we saw the three main settings to configure for the instant search page. The facets, the sortings, and the category pages. In the next video, we will cover the autocomplete menu configuration.